Hello YouTube! This is going to be a short video about my Bulbophyllum. This is a hybrid between Bulbophyllum anadeli eye and a frosty eye. One subscriber of mine asked me a question. What is the difference between a little new growth and a new spike? When they are small, it's hard to tell right away, but I think I can show you on this plant a difference because I got both going on the same time. This is a very nice Bulbophyllum I got actually from Wade's Orchids. I have this plant for a while and it's going to bloom for me already third time. So it blooms twice a year. It takes about four months to form a new bulb. Then next month it's forming a spike already. Let's take a look closer. This picture I took back in February. That's the oldest bulb with old roots, not so good looking leaf, but come on, it's still functional. That's how I got it a year ago. And here we can see a new growth. It's coming kind of like from the bottom of the pseudobulb. Pseudobulbs are connected with a rhizome. Rhizome, it's like a stem between pseudobulbs and it's sending out new roots and new shoots from its nodes. That's a start for a new pseudobulb and grows fast. I noticed it only like a week ago. Now let's find the newest already mature pseudobulbs. I have three. There is first one and there is second one and the third one. Leaves on them looks brighter in color. That's how those new growth looked on May 5th. I saved the picture. See how fast it grow from May to August? That's what I'm talking about. On this bulba phylum, I get blooms every five, six months. And now take a look here. See, there is spike coming. When spike come out, they break the sheath, which is surrounding, wrapping the of the bulb. It's good idea actually to remove that old sheath so no insects will hide behind it and um, plant will look prettier. It grows in the basket I bought in dollar store, you know, when you pay one dollar and get four baskets for your money. Um, on the bottom there is stair foam, like peanuts, packing peanuts, then I have coca chips, bark and a sphagnum moss on the top. Look at the roots, how nice they look. I keep sphagnum always wet and there is like a metal thing I put through that to hold plant so it won't fall out because I have it hanging up on a hook. That's how it grows in a bright shade. I keep it on the wet side, fertilized twice a month, all year around since it's prolific bloomer. And one more look at new growth, how it looks compared to how spike looks. That's all I wanted to show you. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Next video I'm working on about Siberian orchids. Happy growing everybody, until next time.